them. Show yourself friendly and then you will have friends. All of you will be carrying natural hair about. Who, who natural hair help? Okay. Better, better wear your wig. I'm doing like this. I'll be flipping it. Go and spend that money on hair. Spend, draw your brows. Buy lip gloss. Look good. Natural hair is not selling market. When you marry, you off your wig. Hey, because you have entered. There's nothing they can do about it. But before you enter, don't be caught on fresh. Shalom, 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 and alaikum, Yashara. Hey to the 12 tribes of Yashara that are not lost, but scattered, and hey to the Gentiles that are following after Yah's righteousness, okay? Um, <clears throat> I'm here to talk to y'all briefly about a viral video of a female pastor from Africa, it appears. And in the video, she is talking about women um, not getting rid of their wig or hairpiece and makeup until they land their husband. And my thoughts on this is, of course, you know, because I'm a woman of Yashara, my thoughts on this is that is pure witchcraft, okay? Anybody, it's, and it's always a lot of people that I notice that sometimes are the elders of the community that are giving this um, very, very, very harmful information to the youth or to young ladies that are hopeful to get a husband. And these people are not preaching to you with the most high guy is preaching to you and telling you um, what you should do and what you should not do. What Abba Yah tells you to do is to attract the man by your virtue. And the reason that you attract the man by your virtue is because then you're, you're more likely to meet a righteous man and a husband that is going to really love you for you. And your virtue is not really going to be um, compatible with other women. Because there's a lot of women in the world, but a lot of women are not virtuous in the world. So therefore, there really is no competition when it comes to the virtuous woman and the baddie. Because the baddie is on a road to darkness and destruction. <clears throat> and if she don't get off that highway to destruction, it's going to be that late. Now, let me tell you why that is terrible. I, a terrible, terrible advice to take from somebody to say, do not take your wig off and your makeup off um, until you get a husband. Let me tell you the first things first. That is lying and deception. That is a spirit of witchcraft. Witchcraft and deception go hand in hand with, um, hand in hand with each other. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because what it's doing is you are portraying a avatar of yourself a altar of yourself that is not you and you're putting that bait out hoping to attract the man and then thinking okay now that i have quote unquote how they say lock this man down with marriage now i can lean into my you know my real self and what's going to happen is when you bait a man with <clears throat> the makeup the makeup is tied to sensuality ritualism and um witchcraft because it's a witchcraft ritual you are literally turning yourself into something else that abaya did not create you to be and we know that one of the fallen ones <clears throat> excuse me azazel introduced makeup to the to mankind basically hidden hidden sciences and stuff that you were not supposed to encounter and a lot of women hold on to these things as a crutch and what they do is they participate in these witchcraft um things thinking oh it's innocent oh you know well it's very yeah it's very clear what happens with witches in the torah and you may think oh well that's not being a witch because you're not a green you don't have green skin and you don't have a hat riding around on a broom witchcraft is anything that you are using for manipulative purpose or to alter somebody else's perception, somebody else's free will to get them to do something. That is witchcraft, right? So, so a lot of women practice witchcraft every day using different, um, there's some ladies that use perfumes or whatever that have certain, um, 
certain um spells and stuff behind the perfumes you know some ladies do use love spells or they might take a lot of uh lady juice and be sprinkling it on some perfume so that it is causing an attraction that would otherwise not be there or it could be there if you allowed it to occur organically and a lot of women <clears throat> what i notice in western society they want to compete with one another and they're really competing with one another in witchcraft the makeup is witchcraft because you are portraying an image of yourself that is not your actual self and all and also in you creating an image of yourself that's not your actual self a lot of these women get into possession um it's a lot of ladies when i made my video they were making fun of me um saying this when you put the hair pieces on and that stuff it causes demonic possession and <clears throat> how do we know this it's documentaries on this internet of certain groups of people that when they're giving their hair they are sacrificing that to their to their deities that they serve there's a lot of this stuff you don't know if they're getting this hair they're, they're definitely admitting that some of this hair comes from the sewage and the drainage system they're definitely admitting that some of this hair comes from comb waste and they're definitely admitting um some of this hair is even coming from um i would say who typically grows very long hair young women young 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 girls grow very long hair so we don't know how they're coming across this or if they're you know snatching this stealing stealing people's hair and stuff like that and you don't want to be in participation of such wickedness also you don't want to be guilty of idolatry when i read second kings the other day the most high kept on making it pop out to me when he was teaching me what he wanted me to know and giving me divine revelation he was saying that this king did evil in the sight of yah and it did not remove the high places so a lot of women today you know we were made in the image of yah and our body is supposed to be a temple for yah to dwell in so what they do in participation and serving these other deities these other deities want to use their vessel to be an altar for an immediate place for them to meet, like a high place. So they're walking around, even in these high hills, as a high place, walking around, they're doing a bunch of stuff, and they don't realize that this stuff is causing um, just adverse effects in their life. Witchcraft, when it backfires, causes adverse effects. And the Most High will let those consequences come to you if you are disobedient when he tells you to remove these things now there's grace and mercy if you do not know and this is why i always encourage ladies to know to not really wear human hair uh hair pieces <coughs> excuse me and that's really what i'm talking about more so when i'm talking about the wigs i'm talking about somebody else's dna that stuff is definitely used for witchcraft purposes okay it's indisputable you're not about to go back and forth disputing it with me because I've seen the evidence. I've seen um, different um, pastors and preachers say they had to cast out a uh, Leviathan off of people due to hair pieces and the rest of that stuff. And the, the, the possession did not stop in certain ladies until they removed the hair piece wig. So it depends on, you know, where they're getting that stuff from. Some of that stuff could be off of people that have went on to the glory some of that stuff is coming off of, like I said, it could be, could have been stolen. Some of these women could be in things like fornication and prostitution. And you're getting that head and putting it on your crown. That's a very spiritual thing with that, ladies. And then it's like, it's crazy because a female pastor is telling you, oh, you know, just lie and deceive. And then you'll be all right when you land a husband. That's not okay. And I'm going to tell you what happens. I told you witchcraft has adverse effects and it says suffer not a witch to live so you don't want to be in participation of witchcraft whether you know it or not um or in initiation of that stuff and get caught up because tomorrow is promised to nobody but in her telling young women to don't you know take off your wig and your makeup and stuff until you land your husband she that is setting you up to be cheated on 
that's setting you up for the spirit of uh deception and uh and lies to be bought to you because that's what you started your relationship off of see whatever you seduce or you use witchcraft to obtain it will fall through your hands you will never be able to keep it because just like you were able to put on makeup and a wig there are others who could put on makeup and a wig we got you know some young men out there that is putting on makeup and a wig so if that's all you're using to be seductive and you know to put on that rouge and think that you're going to land a man like that and keep a man like that that man that's going to be attracted the same way i told these ladies who like to put on these uh sensual clothing to attract men you're going to attract lust driven men who are not going to be there for the long time but a good time and because you seduce you're going to lose it in the same way anything you use witchcraft witchcraft to obtain i'm telling you it, it never lasts long so if you want a long lasting marriage attract your husband with the spirit of the most high and a virtuous spirit that's what you need to attract your husband with virtuous ways i'm not saying do not be physically appealing like you can't wear nice clothes or you can't do something with your hair and all of that i'm not saying that and that's why i made the disclaimer where i told the ladies who um who are not really suffering from vanity they have medical issues and they may be missing hair and they want a hair replacement and so they get through their medical issues i just told them think about non-human hair alternatives like there's some ladies that i've been seeing where they use wool there's ladies that use plant-based uh hair different than anything but somebody else's dna because you don't know how they living in their life and then you're putting that on your head just think about those things spiritually and how deep that is that you're covering up your own crown your own destiny with somebody else's dna what their struggles are you don't have any idea if somebody cursed that uh hair that you're putting on and you're just you know freely putting that stuff on and I, it's just so crazy because this is happening in the church the church is not giving you spiritual tools to succeed for real in life. They're making you um, dumb to the devices of the enemy. The enemy is not playing no games with nobody. This is a war outside. So you're sitting there and you're participating in vanity and the clock is still ticking. It's, it's about, the shot clock is still ticking. So you have to keep that in mind. It's Yah over vanity. And anybody will tell you, especially who told you this lesson the best was King Solomon. King Solomon was like all of that vanity and it profited him nothing. So just think about that. When you're online in replication of these deities, these fallen uh, deities and um, goddesses that you're in replication of because a lot of these fashion trends come from these fallen um deities in the marine kingdom if you're if you are interested in that i have a video where i break that down of like all of that stuff like them cat nails them them claw nails all of that stuff if you need a vanity detox i strongly suggest that you pray to abaya you repent of these things and it's it's a lot of people think, oh, well, you know, this stuff, it, well, it's innocent. I just want to look good. You have to examine your heart, all right? In looking good, the most I don't want you to look uh, off, but he said, do not have no other Elohims before him. He is Elohim all alone by himself. So you participating in whoredoms, and participating in, in, in going to those high places and giving sacrifices to these other gods by going to these people who some of these hair stores they got stuff like buddha up some of these uh, nail salons they got stuff like them other gods like buddha and all of the other stuff that they serve and i'm not coming for people that do their own thing but i'm coming in the name of the most high god to tell you you need to think about these things you need to put down your idols you need to flee vanity and you need to change your life. 
while you have the opportunity to. And you definitely need to not listen to a pastor that will tell you to get into Decepticon ways to lock down a husband. No, ma'am. Because what's going to happen is you you sensual and you want to attract a man being um XC on the gram. It's somebody else that got a fat behind, big, big chest or whatever it is that you attracted that man with, with witchcraft. Somebody else could do the same thing. When the most high bless something and he give you a virtuous, you know, that virtuous personality, that is going to land you something that's going to be long lasting, not just a little romp or fornication that's going to lead you to the uh, to that fire. And a lot of y'all know your personality change when you have all that stuff on. We ain't going we ain't going to act like that don't happen. You be real humble without it. Be humble. Humility is a beautiful thing. Be humble. Be modest. It's not like, again, I'm not saying do not look good. I'm saying do not get into these trends that are witchcraft motivated. It will land you in that lake. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you like these videos, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video. And I will see y'all soon on the next video. Shalom that God showed me that early morning when he woke me up. I saw women squeezing these um, tubes of makeup, foundation, blush, eyeliners, mascara, lipsticks, and, and many different forms of coverage. And they were getting all that pigment on their fingertips, red, gold, brown, pearls, and pinks, and things like that because of what they were working with. And the Lord was saying that this stuff gets people into trouble. It is actually how people end up tumbled into sin because people People are working in the deception that altering their appearance makes them somebody else. So women have become convinced in today's culture that if they only look different, then people will like them more. And that is tied to the mindset that when people like you more, you apparently have higher value. So this is definitely, um, leaning into the world of hyper celebrity, which is the more people like you, the more people follow your social platforms, the more people are keyed into you because of beauty or whatever other relevant talking point you have then you somehow have a higher social value than others. I'm sure you've now heard these new terms that are out there in the world, high value man, high value woman. These are the rise of some of the end times deceptions that are coming in and makeup is part of that. God says that women have become convinced that looking different equals being different when it is not. He says, this is mental conflict and deception. When you wear this stuff, the makeup, you become somebody else. And then he says in that new skin, women tend to act totally different because they can become somebody else in that false skin. And they even begin to feel that they are inhabiting another body, but this leads to perdition. The more you wear, the further you are getting lost in a false identity. Perdition is a state whereby it's hard for you to come back. Perdition is a state that literally destroys the very foundation that you are meant to be walking flat footed on as a Christian and you edge into a place. Perdition is a place whereby you are despoiled in your faith and you can't be renewed and you can't be brought back. And so God says that people smear their faces with this stuff and they become another being completely, an avatar, a vixen, a tart. And he says there's language that goes along with this. He says they become divas, goddesses, and queens. That, those are the names they use. Whatever they call themselves in their minds, the next step leads them into sin while inhabiting that new persona. So he's actually in a way talking about opening the door to possession. This can actually happen to you. Then the next step is they are led into sin and then revulsion.
revulsion means this is something that is disgusting and hateful to look at. So you're looking at your face and your Instagram followers are looking at your face and everyone is like slay queen, slay queen. And God is saying, I hate you. I totally hate you. It leads into bonded forms of wickedness they cannot get free from. They become captives to those demons that wait just beyond the boundary lines for goddesses, divas, and queens. Then they cry, excuse me, please. Oh God, deliver me. I have fallen into iniquity. What is iniquity? Iniquity is this really, if you can imagine sin as perhaps a rock, iniquity would be the extremely granular forms of sin. Iniquity is almost like charcoal dust that you get under your fingers. So you can wash your hands, but if you've ever been dealing with barbecue briquettes or charcoal, you will find that that fine dust that gets under the fingernails, it is the hardest to get off. And that is what an iniquity is like. It is like the most granular greatest form of entrapment among the sins. And he says, how did they get there, celestial? They got there by degrees, by the various steps and actions that they take on a daily basis until they built a road to sin. And then it will be followed by the actual sin. So women will go out and they will be feeling on top of the moon because they've created. I'm sure you've seen these get ready with me videos. You can start with a person who looks like a, and then end up with a person who looks like K. There is no similarity. A white person can tan themselves until they look like Grace Jones, simply through the use of makeup. A black person can lighten themselves until they look like little orphan Annie, simply through the use of highlighters and all sorts of things that they have invented now that truthfully, I do not even know what their names are or what they are. You can completely alter yourself into anything. And the problem is that you are altering yourself into someone who has increased her or even his because of the world we are in now, her or his chances from sinning of sinning from 10% to a 98% likelihood, simply because you are not yourself. And even when your eyes are perceiving this new persona, you will begin to act into what you drew rather than what you are. Examples of perversion, the Lord was saying are like, when you see men now are the makeup models such as a few years ago when CoverGirl introduced men to now be the models, or these videos where you see 250,000 people are following a man who is like, get ready with me, do a smoky eye, do a contoured no nose, do all these things. And he said, even men are now creating and wearing some of the top makeup brands. So it's not even women creating these things anymore. It is now men who are sometimes the industry leader in creating and wearing these products, advertising these products in transgenderism and cross-dressing and things like that. God says that perversion is where you can't recognize someone when she takes her face off. She takes that face off. You won't know her. You would walk right past her. And also her self-esteem and her personal estimation of herself would tank and crater and she becomes addicted. She can't now leave that persona. She can't now leave that face because 9 million people on Instagram think that's who she is. And so she has to be that person all the time, building a cage for herself, a different person behind the paint and even personality changes creep in. The devil takes advantage of this. God says that perversion is a change that is twisted and for the worse deviation. There is less personal responsibility for your actions when you don't look like you. This is the moral of this warning. Sin crouches at the door for many men and women, perversion and the entry of different types of evil spirits.